I had a client ask me yesterday, Mark, I want to keep this guy's interest, but I want to do it in some fun ways. I want to actually enjoy the process. So I thought in today's video, I would share with you seven fun ways to keep a guy's interest. Don't forget to check out my book. It is now available. You can grab it from the description below. I do a whole chapter on this. Grab it, it's fantastic. And I'll see you for the fun ways to keep his interest right after this. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about seven fun ways to keep a guy's interest. So let's get straight into them. Ways you can enjoy to keep his interest. Number one, focus on feminine energy, in particular, responding and receiving. So one of the big ways to make a guy chase that you're gonna enjoy is when he comes to you. But for him to come to you, there has to be the space for him to do that. There has to be, you've gotta create that space, you've gotta allow that to happen. So by responding, by focusing on responding, when he comes to you, he's listening for that energetic reward, right? He wants to feel the energetic reward of, hey, I was a good guy and I came to you, so I get the feminine energy response, which is in your enthusiasm, your excitement to see him, the energy that you share with him in the way you respond, could be something super simple, the energy you give him in a text, he asks you out, the responsiveness you give to him. In the way you respond, not only do you get to feel great in your feminine, him chasing, but he gets to feel like he came to you and got rewarded for it. Receiving such a key piece of your feminine energy and for all the women I talk to, receiving, when they allow themselves to do it, it feels fantastic for them. When you allow him to give and yourself to just receive, it raises your value in his eyes, it raises your value in your own eyes, and it makes you feel really, really good. So focusing on feminine energy in terms of the way you respond and the way you receive is very, very powerful in making a guy chase. Number two is do everything slowly. Now, sometimes my clients think I'm trying to spoil their fun when I give them this tip, but it, it actually enhances the relationship and it enhances your enjoyment. It allows him to chase more and it gives the opportunity for a really healthy long-term relationship to form. So when you move things a bit slower, I'll give you an example. I have a client, she's getting divorced, and she said, Mark, I've been seeing this guy a month. He met my kid yesterday, and we're already seeing each other three times a week. <laughs> Pretty quick, right? I said to her, look, if you slow it down, you'll have the opportunity to do all the things you want to do now, that is, enjoy your time with him, enjoy the sex with him, enjoy the good vibes with him. You can do all of that just as well in a month or two months from now while still seeing him one to two times a week now. And even though it takes away a little bit of your present fun, what it does is it allows that, that whole experience to expand over time. You don't get in too deep too fast. And it actually gives the opportunity for you to form something really real with this guy. It is always hard, especially if you've just come out of a relationship, for example, and you've been deprived, you're like, I just want to enjoy myself. And that's all great. But by doing things slowly, by leaving some healthy time gaps, by just maybe maxing it out at twice a week early on and just taking that time, you allow things to form really organically, really naturally. And it creates that challenge and that space for him to miss you and him to be the driving force and him chasing you. Not only that, doing things slowly allows you to have good boundaries against love bombers or guys who want to go too fast. It gets respect from the guys who want to go at a healthy pace and it sets your early boundaries. All good things, so early on, do things slowly. Number three is to keep your long standards in your mind. So by long standards, I mean standards that you won't be able to tell from a first date. Think about some things that you're looking for in a guy that you wouldn't be able to tell from the first date, the first week, even the first month. For example, is he always gonna to talk to you respectfully when he's tired or in a really bad mood or really stressed? Probably not gonna know that in the first month. Uh, is he able to show a range of emotions? Can he show healthy sadness or healthy insecurity? Can he be vulnerable? Can he show the emotions that men are told are weak? A lot of that stuff you're not, probably not gonna see in the first month, right? Can he do healthy conflict with you? Does he still respect you when you guys are in conflict? How does he go when he hears your nose? When you put a boundary up that he doesn't like? All of these things are things that will take a little longer to come out, 
And they're things that really make the foundation of a healthy relationship. So I'd really encourage you to keep these in the forefront of your mind. And the way it makes a guy chase is that a guy will feel that you have these long-term standards and he feels that extra challenge. He feels that you're not fully won over. I still have to prove myself. And that's a super healthy way to approach things. So by keeping your long standards in mind, things that are going to take time to come out, you not only get a great relationship, which is going to be fun for you, but you also keep the guy chasing. Number four is to stay present. And by staying present, I mean rain back in the future projections in your own mind. Right, it's so easy to project out in the future and think we're gonna be amazing in here, it's gonna be the most beautiful life together. I advise clients to try not to think beyond the time you've been seeing him or at most double the time you've been seeing him, right? So if you've been seeing him a week, try not to think beyond one to two weeks into the future. If you've been seeing him a month, try not to think beyond one to two months and so on. Now obviously as you've been together longer and longer, that expands further, but early on, a great way to keep him chasing. We already talked about keeping the long standards in mind where he has to prove himself, but also staying present in the now because the guy will feel, okay, again, I've still got to prove myself. I've still got to show up the best. I can't just get lazy with this girl, with this woman. And that alone, you just staying present, letting him drive the car, feels real good for you, but it also keeps the guy chasing. Number five is make note of his fears. So. It's easy when you get to really like someone and you feel yourself putting them a little bit on a pedestal up there. It's easy to sort of forget that this is just a man who's a human who has fears just like you. And, and depending on what the guy is, he's going to have all different kinds of fears. So avoidant men, they're going to be scared of not having their needs met, of no one being there for them at a deep level. Anxious men are going to be scared of you abandoning them. Even secure men, are gonna be scared of not being useful to you or not serving a purpose in your life. Men are just humans. We have fears as well. We get scared like you do. And by you seeing that, not only does it make you feel safer and calm you down because it's like, we're just imperfect humans like you are, it's gonna make him feel more connected to you because he's gonna say, well, she sees me for what I am. She's not got me on a pedestal. She's not putting me up way up there. I'm just, I'm just a human in her eyes, which he knows so he's gonna feel good about it. He's gonna to move towards you and you're gonna feel good about that too. So by making note of men's fears, seeing the humanity and fear that we all have, you're gonna be able to really relate to him. He's gonna be able to relate to you and ultimately that's gonna keep him moving towards you. Number six is the attitude of gratitude. How attractive is it when a man can just be in a grateful state around you. He says, you know what, I'm having a rough day, but I'm grateful I have food in the fridge, I'm grateful I have a roof, I'm grateful I'm here and I'm breathing and I'm grateful for life. I might be grateful for a book. All these little things that he can just find gratitude for, that is just an attractive energy. I don't care what you say, man or woman, that's gonna be an attractive energy. Not only that though, does it make the guy chase? Yes, it does, but it makes you feel great right throughout your day. And I know for me, this is a big reset for me, if I get in a negative mindset or if I'm, if I'm focusing on what's not working in life, simply going back to all the things that I'm so lucky to have, it always reinvigorates me and it always makes me a nicer person to be around as well. So by fostering this attitude of gratitude, could even be something as simple as before you go online, you look at five things you're grateful for or you do a gratitude diary each night. But I'm telling you, by fostering this energy, you're gonna feel great and when you share this energy around, you will absolutely have men and people moving towards you and guys chasing you for a relationship. And number seven is to know your worth. And, and that gets thrown around a lot. You'll hear a lot of coaches say that. So what does it mean? Well, on a practical level, and, and this took me a while to absorb, I had to really remind myself that I have unique value. There is no one out there like you. In fact, there is no one out there who's likely anything like you at all. And it's amazing how often we forget that. We think, oh, that person, that guy or that girl has the same to offer a partner as me. They're better than me. And it's like we're comparing some very basic things. And for some reason, we always compare ourselves short. And that's just not true. But if that's your mindset, unfortunately, that becomes your reality. So what I have clients do and what I'd recommend for you to do is to write a list. If you've got a hundred things, yes, 100 things that you write down that are amazing about you, that creates a really beautiful cushion under your 
confidence, under your relationships, even under your dating, which says, well, you know what? I've got a hundred great things about me. So it's kind of your loss if you don't follow this through. And men sense that attitude and they're like, oh, it's kind of my loss if I don't go after her, I better go after her. And they do it. Like they really, they really chase. But you've got to keep this in mind. And whatever you focus on with your mind is going to grow. So if you focus on all the things that aren't working for you or the ways others are better than you, that will grow. And that energy will come across. Versus if you focus on all the things that you have to offer, that too will grow. And that energy will come across. So I recommend having a big list and then having five to 10 that you really know at the forefront of your mind and go over these every single day because there are certain things about you that no other woman can match. Absolutely not. And when you really know those things at a deep level and you put your focus on them every day, men are going to feel that. And because you are valuing those things within yourself, they will too. So that is knowing your worth. And that is seven ways, don't forget, my book is now available. So grab it from the description. Lots of stuff in here about self-esteem, dating, uh, understanding men, all that sort of stuff is in here. Building a great relationship, check it out. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Subscribe button, little bell so you get the notification. Leave a comment in the space below. What are some fun ways that you found to get a guy chasing you? I'd love to hear them, pop them in the space below. And if you have a question, pop it below as well and I'll answer it in Ask Mark. I'll see you in the next video very soon. What have you done, Matthew? <laughs> you can post that. I'm gonna. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Try to work here, but Matthew's putting my face on a sunflower in the background. Look. Matthew, do we need to get you more work? <laughs> You happy? You happy where you're at? Yeah, it, fits perfectly. Uh, it does. It's right in the sunflower there. Look at it. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> this guy.